everyone, happy new year and welcome back to my channel. I am just so excited. It is January 3rd today. It's Monday, January 3rd. I actually have today off of work, which is wonderful. And I've just been like journaling and watching Tony Robbins and getting myself ready for the new year and just thinking about everything I want to accomplish and who I want to be this year. I'm just really excited. And I hope this year is huge for you as well. And I hope you have your goals in mind and you've taken time for yourself to really think about what you want out of the year. Last week, I went on vacation to Destin, Florida, and I want to just share what the last two weeks have looked like for me since Christmas. Christmas was absolutely amazing. I spent it with my family and my boyfriend's family. We got to just see his niece and nephew and his mom and dad and sister and my grandmother is 93 years old and she's amazing and we had the best time over there with my family so I just kind of want to talk you through how the last two weeks have been for me Christmas is such a beautiful time of year for me and my partner Garrett we love being with our families so we spent time with his family spent time with my family and I always treasure time I can spend with my Nana, who I mentioned is 93. I love them so much. was our vacation destination for this year for New Year's and we were greeted with surprisingly warm weather. It was like in the 80s, the waters were turquoise, the sand was snow white and we were actually told that the sand is that white because it's actually small quartz particles that came from the Appalachian Mountains in the and a river like 20,000 years ago. So basically it's really amazing sand. It's just like snow and the water was so clear and we were so lucky at the beginning of the trip. The first two days were just so beautiful and, and magical. And then towards the end of the trip, we did end up getting quite a lot of rain and the storms brought in some interesting creatures, which you guys will see in a second. But I hope you enjoy just seeing these like gorgeous shots of like the turquoise water. I brought my GoPro along with me and we were just like splashing in the water. Let me tell you that water was actually really cold, but it was warm enough that it was fine. You know, it was fine. We're heading to see some gators. We're heading to see some gators. We are in Destin, Florida, my friends. So walk, walking along a busy highway, we found a better way to get across the highway by using the light. Yeah, the other day we crossed that. I don't recommend. Show them all the cars. All the cars. We were gonna die. And it was at night, so that's not very good. Nope. But people here are very friendly. Like they were stopping for us to like. And this is when the whole trip kind of got a little bit weird. This day was the weirdest day that we had of the entire five day vacation. We went to Fud Puckers, which had like some alligators and stuff and we thought it was gonna be cool. It was definitely not as cool as we had imagined. On like Google Maps, it was like, oh, the greatest place to see alligators. And honestly, it was like low key, not, great for the animals. <laughs> Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. <laughs> and then we end up getting into an Uber and we've had the absolute weirdest experience I've ever had, okay? This is what I want y'all to look at and go, I want this. Oh yeah. You know, this is something for the future. Think about it. 
Yeah. Don't you want to come down and, you know, when you have your kids, y'all y'all have your kids together and yeah. you have a house down here and you can say, yeah, we can do this. Yeah. Think about it. Look at us. And basically what happened was we were going to go to the mall and the Uber driver was like, oh, I just really want to give you a tour. I have to show you Seaside. And we're like, we were so bored that day that we were like, yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure. Well, we should have known better because we start driving about 15 minutes down the road and he's saying, oh, you know, this person lives here and this person lives here. Like all of these famous people tells us about how Lil Wayne lived in Seaside. He's a very positive person. He's very charismatic. And we were just like going along with it. And, you know, like, I just have to say that he told us that he would end the lift ride back where the mall was. And he would just take us to go see Seaside because we just had to see it. You know, he had to show us something that most tourists don't see. And we were just like, yeah, of course. And then, you know, we're, we're driving and driving and driving and Lyft actually sends me a message and is like, hey, you okay? And I don't know why I put, didn't put two and two together that like, the lift ride hadn't ended, but I didn't. Oh, pretty. Y'all gotta go to that restaurant. Okay. Try it. Is that like Emeralds? It. Huh? No. No, no, no. Emeralds yeah. is in Sandestin. It's in oh, okay. Yeah, which I'll take you back to where you want to go shopping, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to. I just want y'all to experience. You kidnapped us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lyft just asked me if we were okay. Yeah, are y'all okay? Oh, really? The Lyft app was like, do oh, you need help? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but look at that new house. Like, I like, like that was, last year. That was sexy. I like so that. this man takes us all the way, like 40 minutes out of the way, shows us this little town, and finally decides to take us back. And I was a little suspicious, hence why I was filming. I had my GoPro with me, and I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to die. <laughs> and so basically, we get back to the mall, and he drops us off. And I look at my Lyft app, and it says I owe... $89. So essentially we got hustled and it was so disappointing because I think we were just hoping for the best in this situation. But now looking back, we should have never accepted this driver to not take us to the location that we needed to be. So this is my warning to you to just go to the location that you need to be and do not let the Uber or Lyft driver take you away from where you need to be. And when the app asks you if you are okay, you should probably uh, do something about it. <laughs> so I ended up getting my money back from Lyft and explained the situation. But yeah, we were pretty appalled that that is what occurred. So here's a clip of him rambling some more just so you guys get the full experience. Uh, who was that one agent one guy was telling me? Oh, he picked up a uh, shares agent one day in a limo ride. And something about he made share mad. The story is he made share mad. So, and he had like three limo. Share had like three limos on it. And she, he, he wasn't allowed to take them. Oh. <laughs> because he pissed off share. <laughs> Don't piss off share. <laughs> it's a moral story. Hey, it's his agent. To recap the much less adventurous part of the trip, the rest of the trip was pretty rainy, pretty foggy. New Year's Eve was the foggiest night ever. We had plans on going to the Harbor Village. It's a pretty popular spot in Destin, but it was so foggy you could not see the building next to yours. So we bring in the new year pretty lazily, pretty relaxedly. Um, the next day we were able to go to the Harbor Village and we did a little ax throwing. I was a lot better than Garrett, but Shh, I didn't tell you that, okay? And these were the monsters on the beach. The storms had rolled in some Portuguese man of war jellyfish. But happy new year, everyone. We celebrated together just inside our condo. And on the very last day, we pretty much had to figure out how to get to the airport. We said goodbye to the beach. We did head to the Harbor Village and had sushi from the really popular Irish pub. There's like a sushi section and that was really lovely. And overall, I think that Destin is a pretty beautiful beach, but if it's rainy, it can definitely be a little bit boring, but overall we had an amazing trip and I just want to wish you guys a happy new year. Happy 2022.